All right, I am going to record a very quick video as I am watching the video of Subtractum on the screen as you can see here. Uh, let's hear what he has to say about Skull Bridal and self-damaging on his latest video about Corpse Explosion Poison Pathfinder. ...and deal some damage. This is a helmet that's been around for a long time that uh, lab runners would actually do. This is actually the easiest way for us to self-damage. Easiest like way to self-damage. Or trying to, you know, attack with, with uh, trauma support or mm -hmm. something. I tried a lot. It was really, really annoying. Because mm -hmm. I would have loved to use a different helmet. But Skull's Rival is just the most... He would love helmet. to actually, use skills, a different helmet. Right. Helmet. But Skull's Rival is just the... We can hear it again here. ...support or something. I tried a lot. It was really, really annoying. Arena annoying? Because I would have loved to use a different helmet. But would Skull's love Rival, to use a different helmet. It's just the most comfortable thing. Actually, yeah, that is the most comfortable thing for him. But he has to do something to actually trigger. He has to use the skill that costs mana to trigger the self damage, right? Once in a while, or you know, I have. What if I say I have a mm, even better way that will trade your ring slot instead of your helmet slot and just automate the process of self damaging like indefinitely it will do it all the time without you doing anything without casting any spell and you just do it all the time while giving you an extra aura as some of you might have guessed it let's go in the game and i will show you the setup all right so we have hurtbound loop this is a very very nice corruption but please do not please ignore that right uh the setup is the hurtbound loop and the Dark Marionette Spectre, as you can see here. They are the new Spectre that uh, they reform themselves uh, uh, when they uh, death, right? So whenever, whenever they die, they will self-damage. And uh, they, they will damage me as their owner through this ring. The, and it is the most consistent way easy way you can have the the self damage right in this case for me i use i use the the um, self damage to trigger vengeance here as you can see i walk around i do not cyclone and not do anything yep it is a self damage um, let me go to somewhere without a a, a monster Let's go ahead and kill this one. Yep, as you can see, the circle that go around here, right? So I turn on the eternal or the pride aura here, and my specter dies quite quickly with the intern with the eternal blessing and the infernal legion gems, and it's consistently damaging myself, hitting myself for whatever purpose. In my case, is to trigger vengeance. In the subtractum video earlier, is for damaging yourself, so you can trigger the one endurance charge per second if you've been hit recently. Which, funny enough, I do that also, because I am a juggernaut in this character, right? I gain endurance charge and turn it into gain brutal charges. So, as you can see, my charge never go down right because i'm always hitting myself i'm always getting hit recently and i always get refresh the uh, duration of the brutal charges in this case all the time right isn't that what uh, you want subtract them and it gives you one aura because it's guardian blessing it's not divine blessing so you don't have to care to care worry about the mana right we do have Ray Spectre, at least level 13 will be uh, enough because uh, we do want to get level 13 uh, Ray Spectre gem to have uh, the maximum Spectre to be at least 2. Uh, for 2 Spectre, they, if you go into map and they die not at the exact same time, then you will have the 100% uptime of the pride. But if they die like at the same time for any moment that they do not you know, survive. Uh, there's there's no minion from the 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 link skill gem, which is Ray Specter here, on uh, the um, alive on the field, and then you will 
have the aura turned off like like this this I manually turn it off right and you simply turn it on again it's an instant cast no mana cost no nothing you have to worry about nothing you gain an aura you gain a helm slot this is a very bad helm but you gain a helm slot I believe in the corpse explosion build you have multiple multiple better option than skull bridle and a helm slot is definitely better than a ring slot in my opinion for that build I played that build be, uh, before uh, with a different setup um, with uh, the Ming's heart to get a lot of extra physical ass chaos uh, and it was uh, the second character of mine I did not play it uh, quite a lot uh, but yeah that is the way how you can damage yourself without worrying about anything and the, the good thing about this also is uh, since if you do the Pathfinder explosion version or if you do the build that I am doing right now by some miracle uh, you don't care about the dark marionette to be perfect which is 70c right now COTKS uh, because you only care about the reform the reborn part of it you don't need the scorch you don't care about the explosion of the minion itself so just uh, need the imperfect one with just the, the ability to reborn himself they are one to five chaos I think is which is very cheap right and that's it that's what I want to talk about in this video it's gonna be very short and uh, thanks everyone for watching and like and subscribe if you think this is helpful to you and I'll come up with uh, more video content in future obviously hope one will be better than the previous one thank you and goodbye